madman from Gotham's past returned to terrorize my city. He drew me into his twisted game, striking at the things I hold most dear. But I survived his deadly traps. I emerged the victor. But the cost was too great. Lucius Fox is dead. Riddler is dead. And with him, the only lead I had to taking down the greatest danger Gotham has ever faced. And the person best equipped to help me is a threat to my deepest secret. The Riddler was going to be my way in once we captured him alive. But now I have you to lean on. A man who lives on both sides of the line and knows exactly when to cross it. Yes, you and I will be working together very closely. Bruce Wayne. First thing you need to know, I can keep your secret. And despite what you did, going behind my back to Mori, I will continue to keep it. No reports, nothing. No one else needs to know. To deal with the present threat, though, I need both of you. The man inside and outside the mask. You have to understand, I'm not the enemy here. It may seem that way right now, but I'm not. Our problems are far too big for us to be bickering among ourselves. If that's true, then reinstate Gordon as commissioner. Hmm. You really are loyal to that stubborn old mule, Lawrence. I'll tell you what. Play nice with me now, and when this is all over, I'll make things right with Gordon. When Riddler's friends hear he's dead, they ain't gonna just carry on carrying on. They might get sloppy. They might want revenge. Or they might simply accelerate their plans. I'm gonna need eyes everywhere in Gotham. A man like Bruce Wayne, with all his influence and resources, can go places Batman can't. You understand what I'm saying, don't you? Your public persona could be a great help to us here. Maybe even as much as Batman in certain situations. I know when to be Batman and when to be Bruce. It's the mask that fits best at the time. Tactical. Now you're speaking my language. What the oh. hell? Looks like the whole city's under attack. We've got a report of a raid on the Gotham PD arsenal. If those bastards get their hands on our weapons... This is coordinated. It's Riddler's gang. It has to be. We're gonna need Batman for this one. Agreed. Emergency services is already pushed to the limit. Well, then we'll have to redeploy patrol officers to defend the arsenal. Don't divert any men, Gordon. I can handle the arsenal call. Thank you. Let's move, people. This is what we train for. There's been an attack in the financial district. Biotech company on the west side is under siege.
Hey, shut it. You got what you came for. You don't need me. Well, you better hope that's not true. I'll live your usefulness, and the boss will make a pretzel out of your neck. I don't know, 10 or 12 maybe? The really big one, he, he made me give him the keys to the armored transport vehicles. I didn't want to, I, I swear. It's okay, get out of here, now. Thank you, Batman. Hey, you about done? Yeah, yeah, just about. All right. yourself. But you can call me Bane. <laughs> a man cannot win a war alone. You fight well, but you fight alone. Die alone. I can see why Riddler wanted to be the one to kill you. Riddler is dead. He's dead? Yeah, Riddler? You should be worrying about yourself. I promised my men a hell of a battle if ever I faced you. And I'd hate to disappoint. Oh, I haven't faced a true warrior since I left Peña Duro prison. This one is mine. feeling but
Did you get him? There is nothing to fear, my friend. Keep your eyes open. Don't let anyone follow you to the back. Don't worry, we'll get the back of my guys. Safe travels, my friend. Batman! Batman, you here? Over here. Batman? Oh, Jesus Christ! Hey, Harrison, I found it! Hey, take it easy. We're here to help. We're going to have to unpin him. Batman, I'm gonna need your help to push this thing off you. One, two, three! Here you go. That's it. Let's get you on your feet. <laughs> the mechanic who was taken hostage. Where is he? He didn't make it. I'm sorry. Who the hell did this to you? Called himself Bane. His crew loaded the weapons onto the APCs and took them to a warehouse. I really do appreciate you reaching out to me about this. Listen, you really need to pull yourself together because the threat we're facing is worse than I thought. While you were here, a gang of masked men hit a biotech manufacturer. Perf slipped right through our damn fingers. Every single one of them. Welcome to Gotham, Director. I've had warmer welcomes. <laughs> this Bane and the crew who hit the biotech lab must all be members of Riddler's gang. I need to get back to the Batcave, figure out how this all fits together. As soon as my team finishes cleaning up that biotech facility, I'll share with you any intel we discover. It's a sign our new partnership is off to a good start. You're on my team now, and I take good care of my people. Hey, Batman. Your partner in Avesta. How is she? Still in the hospital. Doctors say the hearing damage could be permanent. 
Damn it, it should have been me. I failed her. I put her in danger. It's my fault. The blame for what happened to Avesta rests with Riddler, not you. That's nice of you to say. Look, I owe you one for saving my life back there, so I gotta warn you. You really should stay on Waller's good side for as long as you can, for everyone's sake. I'll tell Avesta you asked about her. Alfred, prep the med bay. We're going to need it. Fine. Really. You are not fine, Bruce. <laughs> None of this is fine. You were nearly killed tonight. Those minutes of silence, waiting for you to respond, they were the worst of my life. I didn't know if you were alive or dead, or if... if I would ever see you again. I thought you'd be used to seeing me fly through walls by now. No one gets used to that. We already lost Lucius. I couldn't bear losing you, too. Uh, uh, we, we can talk about all this later. Come on now. Let's get you patched up. As if he wasn't bad enough, now Director Waller knows your identity. That information in her hands? Waller isn't the one we need to worry about. Bane is still on the loose, with enough guns to arm a small militia. Oh, I... I understand. The man died for you tonight, Bruce. Tried to save you from that monstrosity. Too many have died. In too short a time. The cost of this war, it just continues to rise. Alfred, we will get through this. You know that, right? This storm will pass. Yes, I, I know that, Bruce, and I'm sorry for not being my resolute self. It's just this bane is terrifying. We've never seen this kind of destructive power before. Waller is right about one thing. Riddler was just a small part of a larger threat. Let's begin with the dart I pulled from his neck. Got it? I'm good, thanks. Oh. Huh. There's still some toxin left in here. What kind of toxin? Something new. There's a whole series of powerful psychoactive meds in this cocktail. Drugs that are lethal when combined. Who could have come up with such a concoction? And did the same person pull the trigger? Bane's attack was one of three tonight, all at the same time. Let's bring him up, get an assessment of the damage. Gothcorp Labs, genetic research facility. Where do we even start with this? Yes, I have no idea. Authorities can't determine what was even stolen until all of that melts. At least 20 dead. Some completely encased in ice. Others were frozen solid. Some of their limbs shattered as they fled. Waller's intel shows that the thieves made off with numerous pieces of equipment used in the storage and transportation of biological material. I don't even want to think what they'd want that for. 
No IDs on any suspects, though. Security cameras frozen. All witnesses dead. Gotham brokerage. Ten million in diamonds stolen. Some safety deposit boxes emptied. Contents unknown. Over a dozen dead, and even more wounded. Mostly by gunshot, though some victims had their heads smashed in. Oh, that's barbaric. Witnesses place Harleen Quinzel at the scene. Dressed up as a clown and wielding a mallet. Don't ask me. Riddler's friends are as insane and gruesome as he was. Perhaps even more. Those same witnesses say that she acted alone. All that carnage. All by herself. Guns? Money? Biotech? What are they planning? We won't know until we get to Bane. I don't mean to cause offense, but you're in no shape to beat the information out of that monster. Or take on his friends, if it comes to it. We've already seen how formidable Bane is on his own. Taking on all of them? That would be suicide in your current condition. Of course I could use help. But both the GCPD and the Agency are stretched thin. One thing's for sure. We can't just wait around for Bane to strike again. The death toll is already too high. You told Waller you knew when to be Batman and when to be Bruce. Riddler said his friends abandoned him at the Lady of Dublin. He alluded to the fact that John Doe was one of them. If that's the case, then John can get you close to the others. He already wants you to meet them. John Doe might be your best chance of getting inside, finding out what they're up to. John's hardly predictable, but it's a risk I'll have to take. He clearly sees something in you that appeals to him. It'll be dangerous approaching Bane and his people this way. I'll be suspicious of anyone who isn't a proven criminal. You'll have to give the performance of a lifetime to pull the wool over their eyes. My father was one of the best-known criminals in Gotham. It should be easy enough to pretend I'm following in his footsteps. I suppose it could work. So that's it then. I find John Doe and accept his offer. Good thing you hid that tracking device on him when you had the chance. The stack deck. That's where he is. I suppose you couldn't wait an hour or two while you rest. Not a chance. Batman! I'll tell you about Batman. He's no hero. The way I see it, he's just a bunch of hired muscle for rich guys. Guys like Bruce Wayne. I see. Really, tell Bruce Wayne how that makes you feel. Dude, okay. It feels- No, really, he's on your right. It feels like crap, Wayne. Preach! And you're just a huge, colossal, gigantic, spoiled piece of sh Oh. <laughs> I am... Uh, <laughs> Go on. Finish what you were gonna say. I was gonna say you're a coward who lets other people do his dirty work. But you get away with it all. Nothing bad ever <laughs> happens to Bruce Wayne. And besides the whole dead parents thing. Bruce! Uh, <laughs> uh, don't mind Willie. <laughs> we're just messing with you. You look like you could use a drink. Hey, John. What about my medicine? Bottles under my chair, Willie. You make wonderful 
I, uh, I run a therapy circle here every second Sunday. These people need the expertise that I learned in Arkham. A tracker, Bruce? Really? I gotta say, I'm disappointed. I thought we'd built more trust between us. I'm sorry, John. All I could think of was getting to Riddler. You were my best chance. I... I should have just... Waited for me to get back to you? Like I said I would? Hey, I said I was sorry. It's rude, duplicitous, and kind of stalkery. But I understand. All is forgiven. So... Know-it-all really got what was coming to him. Authorities are refusing to comment on the death of the mysterious criminal known as Riddler. Who am However, I? Who am I? You're a rotting, murder, stinking corpse. That's who you are. <laughs> John, did you have anything to do with the Riddler's death? I mean, I hated the guy, but... Jeez, Bruce. You really think I'd be capable of cold-blooded murder? After everything you know about me, you really think I'd do that? No, 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 of course not. I mean, I know you hated him, but you know, killer. What was I thinking? Uh, I know what you were thinking. But hey, no harm done. Anyway... I was a little surprised to see you, Bruce. I'm guessing this is about that favor I asked. Look, before we get into that, I need to come clean. Riddler was more connected to my friends than I'd let on at the funeral. Riddler? Really? Yeah, he was kind of our leader, but he was just so bad at it and so intolerably annoying. <laughs> be out of the picture by the time you came around. I should have told you. I just... I didn't want you to think we were all like him. No secrets between us. Ever again. You have my word. I pinky swear. <sighs> pinky swear. Friends for life! <laughs> and, and Bruce, friends don't plant tracking gadgets on each other. You've got my number. All right, let's go meet the guys. I'll let them know we're on our way. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of medicine. I don't like your face. And I think you're bothering my friend John. <laughs> You've got the wrong idea. We're just having a friendly chat. Are you calling me a liar? You shouldn't have walked in here. <laughs> that was your first mistake. And it's gonna be your last mistake. Calm down, Willie. Let me help you out, huh? A bribe? I can't be bought off that easy, Wayne. Don't insult me. I got standards. I don't take bribes. This cash can buy you a whole lot of medicine. Oh, well, when you, when you put it that way. Thanks, Wayne. Get out of here. <laughs> oh, cool. They're expecting you. 
Br Bruce, um, uh, one, one more thing. You can't tell anyone this. This is big. Huge. I think I'm in love. It's, it's an odd feeling. I am so happy, John. Deserve the best. Yeah, I'd blush if I could. So mysterious. You at least gotta tell me your name. She'll, you know, she'll, she'll want to introduce herself, but uh, if you could please help me look good in front of her, I'd appreciate it. Come on. We shouldn't keep her waiting. Almost got it. God damn it. Thought I had it. Here, uh, give me a hand with this, will you? I'm pretty sure this is how you get this thing started. No, look, you're doing it wrong. Red's the battery, yellow's the starter, spark one on the other. You are literally my hero, Bruce. I mean, wow. around all right Wayne you got my attention give me one good reason why I don't redecorate the windshield with your noodle I bet a smart guy like you has some real pretty brains real bright trust me you don't want to do that the mess will be awful maybe I like mess no, no your brains are like red wine the stain never comes out, no matter how hard you scrub. <laughs> Since when did you ever scrub a damn thing? I'm <laughs> just joshing you, rich boy. See? There wasn't even a bullet in the chamber. <laughs> Oops. Let's put some music on. Bruce, this is the lady I was telling you about, Harley Quinn. <laughs> Isn't she a hoot? I knew you guys would hit it off. Sure, I can see the funny side. See, I told you, Bruce is a good sport. Quinn here says you're chomping at the bit to meet us. I want to get an idea why. What do you get out of rubbing shoulders with the likes of us? I want to run this town. Just like Falcone. Just like my father. You can help me do that. Uh-huh. Sure. The Playboy's trading his tux for a Tommy gun. Bruce has hidden depths, Harley. Like, really deep. When we were in Arkham, we got into all kinds of mischief. He showed me some of the darkness he's got inside. You don't forget something like that. Do us a favor, Pud. Skip over to that bodega and get me a slushy. Right now? <laughs> Need a buck? <laughs> I got it. Poor John. He just doesn't know who he is yet. You know, he's searching. Highly impressionable. He thinks the world of you. So I ask myself, what's Bruce Wayne want with a lost soul like John? It's kind of a mismatch. Raises all kinds of questions. John and I went through a lot in Arkham. He's a friend. That cute. You're sweet on little old Puddin. Here's the thing, lover boy. Guys like him don't have friends like you. You got that look in your eye, the kind that says you're trouble. And I only like trouble when I'm the one causing it. You got a good reason why I should trust you? 
Cause I sure as hell can't see one. After all, you're a squeaky clean favored son of Gotham. How am I supposed to believe you won't run to the cops the first chance you get? My father used to run crime in the city. It's in my blood. Fooey. My mama was a grocer. I don't give two craps about fruits. You think that's the same? Eh, don't matter. You'll show me soon enough if you got what it takes. Oh, gee, thanks, Blood. We gotta go. What were you guys talking about? Your friend was just saying how much he liked you, Pud. Got a little man crush on ya. Ain't that right, Brucey? Ain't that the gist of it? It's the truth. <laughs> you just made my day, Bruce! I want you to know, the feeling's mutual. Oh my god! That is the best damn slushy ever. Suck on that. I swear, it'll make your whole body shiver. Come on, put your lips on it. I ain't got cooties. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I told ya. Okay, here's what's going to happen now, Mr. Moneybags. You're gonna go get Mama a little present. From inside there. Wayne Enterprises. A little bird told me there's some pretty fancy hacking tech up there. Something called a phalanx key. Get it for me? I'll know you're on the level. Maybe a whole kingpin of Gotham shtick won't seem so absurd. And maybe, just maybe, I'll vouch for you with the others. What do you want with the phalanx key? Why wouldn't I want it? I hear this thing opens half the security systems in Gotham. And it's just sitting there, hidden in your lab, waiting for someone to put it to use. <laughs> What's the matter? You better not try nothing fishy. I don't want to have to splatter that pretty face. It's okay, face. Harley. Bruce and I already talked. He'll do whatever you want. Is that right? Will you do whatever I want? Will you jump when I say jump? Will you bring me the shiny things I ask for? I'll do whatever I think is necessary. That's how this gets done. Sounds like Bruce has got it covered. You're on, Brucey boy. Make yourself useful and get me that phalanx key. And hurry. Mama really wants to get herself some tacos when you're done. Got this, Bruce. Uh, Mr. Wayne, uh, yeah, if you could please sign in on account of the attack. So, um, what brings you in? If you don't mind me asking, is everything okay? Well, no rest for the weary. Yeah, or for the wicked. You're all set, sir. Excuse me, 
sir. Ma'am, this is private property. Oh, no! <laughs> you really ought to rethink your hiring practices, Bruce. Your man's lying down on the job. What did you do to him? It is he still alive? Don't worry. A little bop on the head never killed anyone. Going up, Bruce. <laughs> this ain't your stop. Don't worry about your pal. He's gonna make it. As long as you behave, that is. Give me a hard time, I go back and finish the job. The same goes for anyone else who gets in the way. Capiche? I don't live my life with regret, Brucey. Ugh. It's bad for your health. Keep it cool and no one else gets a dinger to the dome. Now buck up. We're all smiles on this crew. There you go. You're looking like your billion dollar self again. <laughs> oh, Bruce, I'm surprised to see you. And these are... <clears throat> to whom do I owe the pleasure? They're fashion consultants. I figured it's time I try out a new look. Not just Bruce. We're gonna revamp this whole place! Dress everyone in snazzy uniforms. So... <laughs> Well, no one ran this by me. Just think, you could come into work on Monday dressed just like me. Is this some kind of joke? Do I look funny to you? It's like I'm some kind of punchline or something. Excuse me? <laughs> You're gonna let your employees sass me like that? Is this the kind of operation you run here? Leave her alone. I ain't even gotten started. I said back off. <laughs> your friends don't suit you, Bruce. Got a firm grip, Mr. Corporation. The kind that makes a girl go weak at the knees. Wanna show me what else you can do with those hands? We could carve out some alone time. Just you and little old me. Anytime, anywhere. Just say the word. Oh boy. It is getting hot in no, 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 here. No, 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 no. <laughs> That's not what we're doing here. We've got a job to do, remember? We'll get to it, Wood. Don't get your panties in a twist. Wait here, I'll be right back with Forget you. Forget it, Brucey boy. Your secret lab ain't really a secret. Cobblepot's got quite a mouth on him. I don't think he ever shut it the whole time I was working at Blackgate Prison. He told me all sorts of interesting stuff. Say, do you like chess? Work your magic. Tick tock. What's the hold up? Tight squeeze. You know, I think you two are the closest friends I've ever had. I present to you our secret lab. Lucius, you have seriously outdone yourself this time. <laughs> Glad you like it. Like it? Oh, no, this. 
This changes everything. It was getting a bit dodgy hiding all those batarangs in the Wayne Enterprise R&D wing. Thank you, Lucius. Come on. Now the real work starts. Somehow, I was expecting more. Where's the giant crater? I thought this was where your friend went out with a bang. That was his office upstairs. Better question. Where's the phalanx key? It should be in the vault. Well, what you waiting for, sweetie? Go get it. Protocol Vault thumbprint required Lucius Fox. That's not right. Why the lockout? Someone's been in here. What's taking so long, Bruce? It's saying it won't open without Lucius's thumbprint. And that got blown up with the rest of him, didn't it? Oh, all the dumb luck. You're saying we can't get it open, then? Harley's not going to like that at all. Or you. L let me try to find latent prints around here with my scanner. Always thinking, this guy! Dinner to celebrate Tiffany's first day at Wayne Enterprises. Sorry you didn't make it there, Lucius. All right, that's a start. Tiffany built that rocket herself. Lucius was so proud. Getting there. Just a bunch of old reports. Need to remember to clean out some of this junk. Not a single usable print. Still unconscious. Hope he's not hurt too badly. Hmm. <laughs> One more partial print should do it. Generator put in. <laughs> Tell them what it does. It emits a pulse that knocks out other nearby electronic devices. <laughs> Who wouldn't want to try that?
Even now, still finding ways to help me. Stay there. Don't touch anything. I touch what I want when I want, Brucey boy. You knew what's best for you. You'd quit giving orders and find me that key. Looking for this. Tiffany. I told you I'd find out what you got my dad mixed up in. This, this is much worse than I thought. You're not safe here. You have to hide. What the hell are you doing with a secret room full of weapons? What's going on here, Bruce? What's all this for? Your father worked with Batman. That's who all this stuff is for. Batman. I know it! His tech! Dad's fingerprints are all over it. I came looking for answers, but... I didn't expect this. Bruce. These people you're with. I saw on the cameras what they did to that guard. To Regina. They'll do the same to you or worse. Get out of sight. Bruce! What's taking so long in here, huh? Hey, I know you. We met at your father's funeral. John. Okay, Bruce. No need to get physical. I get it. We'll be as quiet as lab rats. But, but what about Harley? I mean, she's going to want to know about your uh, friend here. What am I supposed to tell her? You don't have to say anything to her, John. Okay? It can be our secret. In Arkham, I was well known for my discretion. All the guards confided in me. I don't like lying to Harley, but I'll do it for you, Bruce. What I really need is the phalanx key. You give me that, I can go out there and, you know, make Harley happy. You can have the key. Just leave Tiffany out of it, okay? You mean this thing? That's it? <laughs> You've got to be kidding, Bruce. You can't give these psychos anything from this lab. Hey now, no need to get personal. We're all on the same side, remember? Please, Tiffany. I've been honest with you every step of the way. Now I need you to trust me. Please. I better not see this on the evening news. Thank you. This, this makes things so much better for everyone. Thank you, Tiffany. You made the right call. Harley will be over the moon when I show her this. Stay out of sight until we are long gone. Whatever. Bruce. You better know what you're doing. Took you long enough. I was starting to think you got sucked into a portal to another dimension or something. Your boys did good, you know? Made Mama proud. Hmm. Huh. It don't look like nothing special. You've got what you wanted. Now let's just get out of here. <laughs> Load that thing up too, John. I need it. Hurry it up. I was keeping an eye on you over the security feed. Well, breaking into my own company was... unexpected. Things could have gone so much worse. That you managed to keep both John and Tiffany quiet was... a masterstroke, Bruce. Still... That young woman is smarter than both of us, Bruce. It's only a matter of time before she puts the rest of the pieces together. I heard you reveal that Lucius worked with Batman. But will that satisfy her? You know what she's like. She won't stop digging until she gets to the truth. Maybe we should just... 
tell her. I've always regretted not being more honest with you about your father's life. Don't make the same mistake I did. Tiffany's safety is more important than the truth. Just be careful you don't drive her away. Uh, with regards to tonight's other catastrophes... Your night watchman got a nasty lump on the head, but don't worry. He'll be fine. I've already arranged for him to get a generous payout and an extended vacation. And replace tonight's offending security camera feed with dummy footage. I yeah, thank you. As for Regina, I'm afraid your fashion consultant's cover story is going to cause more problems. Your encounter there was too bizarre to be ignored. Well, after what went on, it'll be a challenge to smooth things over with her. It's all coming so fast. One thing after another. Fix it now, Alfred. Whatever you have to do, just... I don't have time to worry about it. Uh, yes, of course, I'll figure something out. Bruce. I know we agreed there was no better way to get to Bane, but this whole adventure with John and Harley, well, frankly, it's exhausting. Well, be careful, and good luck. How long does this usually take? It takes as long as it takes. You don't just call him like a dog. There's a million more efficient ways of contacting him, but you do it like this? Symbols are important. Just like principles. This is a waste of my time. You two are acting almost friendly. It's a strange sight. Batman? About time. Gordon, you're dismissed. This is still my goddamn station house. He's forgetting I'm the one who can make or break his career right now. You only remind me every other minute. Clearly, I need a better method of getting the message across. That's enough, Waller. This is Jim's precinct. He's free to do as he pleases. Maybe you weren't paying attention, but this is my turf now. You're gonna push me too far, you hear me? Is that a threat? No. Just God's honest truth. Something you wouldn't know a damn thing about. She's got some kind of leverage on you, doesn't she? <laughs> 